When an investor gives money or property to a corporation and says that it's a loan, the IRS might raise the question of, is this really a loan? Maybe it's a capital contribution that's just disguised as a loan in order to reduce tax liability. And the IRS wants to prevent things like earnings stripping, which I'll make another video on. Right now, the basic question is, is this debt or is this equity? And if the IRS feels like, you know what, this is actually really a co capital contribution, they could reclassify debt as equity. Okay, so that could have negative tax consequences for you. And so what you really want to do is you want to establish that there's a true debtor-creditor relationship here. And so Section 385 of the tax code lays out five factors that could be considered when determining, okay, is this actually a loan? Is this actually debt? So the first factor is, is there a written unconditional promise to pay on a certain date with fixed reasonable rate of interest. So if you were to say, yeah, it's a loan, what's the rate of interest? Oh, 0.001% interest. Okay, that doesn't sound reasonable. I don't know if this is really a loan. Or if you say, okay, well, when is when is uh, the corporation supposed to pay the money back? Uh, well, it's just whenever, just whenever. Uh, okay, that doesn't really sound like a true debtor creditor relationship. Okay? We want to make sure this is an actual loan where the actual corporation is actually obligated to repay it. And we want to make sure the debt is not subordinated to other liabilities and that it's not convertible to stock. Okay, So again, if it's convertible to stock or if it's subordinate to a bunch of other liabilities, that makes it seem like, okay, is this really a loan? Is, this, is the corporation really going to be forced to pay this back? Now, if shareholders don't hold the same proportion of debt that they hold of stock, that also can be an issue, right? Or, or it's a good thing. Basically, if they if they hold the exact same proportion, it's a problem. So let me give you an example. So Tom and Aisha, they each own 50% of the stock in a corporation, and they each hold 50% of that corporation's debt. Okay, so the corporation owes money, it owes half to Tom, half to Aisha, but also half of its stock is owned by each of them. So they own 50% of the debt, 50% of the equity. They don't have any incentive to act like creditors here. Why? Well, let's say the company were to go under, they're basically both going to get half of whatever happens. Okay, so it's not like the debt really matters. But if we, if I just change the, the facts a little bit, so let's say they still own each of them 50% of the stock, but Aisha owns 90% of the debt, and then Tom owns 10% of the debt. Now, Aisha, she has a very strong uh, incentive to act like a creditor here. Basically, if, let's say the company were to go bankrupt, she would say, okay, wait, I want to make sure I get this debt repaid first, okay, and then we'll go with whatever's left and we'll split uh, you know, 50-50 and so forth. But she basically, because she has 90% of the debt, she will act like a like a real lender here, okay? It's not just, oh, well, you know, yeah, I technically have a loan, but we each own half the stock, we each own half the debt, so it doesn't really matter. So this is where you have a different proportion of debt that you have of equity. Now, one of the, the shareholders, so in this case, Aisha, she really has an incentive to say, wait a minute, this is real debt, and I want that loan repaid because I've got 90% of the debt and he's only got 10%. Okay? Now, finally, if the debt to equity ratio is seen as excessive, the IRS might come in and say, wait a minute, this company is basically what they call thinly capitalized, where they just have so much debt they say, you know what, actually some of this, this is a capital contribution. Now, the question is, you might be thinking, okay, well, what is the appropriate debt to equity ratio? Like how high is too high? And this is a gray area. There is no number I could just throw out and you say, okay, that's a safe number. Uh, there are different court cases that have come to different resolutions. Uh, it could depend on the industry and a number of factors. But basically the idea is that you want to want to keep an eye on the debt to equity ratio and make sure at least for your industry that it isn't ridiculously high and somehow indicating that your company is thinly capitalized.